This is your 3-minute radiation fallout forecast for Tuesday, May 8, 2012. In Canada, California Regional Weather Server shows the jet stream will be hitting the entire coast of BC over the next 72 hours, although rainfall will be minimal. The highest concern will be for the region of southern Ontario from the Detroit-Windsor border up through Toronto, moving northeast on Tuesday afternoon. In the U.S., the jet stream will be over the Midwest for the next 48 hours along with heavy rain stretching from Texas through New York and scattered areas of the South. Utah, Colorado, New Mexico, and Arizona are also expecting rain with snow at higher elevations. But the jet stream and troposphere pinpoint the Midwest is having potential hot spots for fallout. Please visit FukushimaFacts.com or Radiation Watch on Facebook to check readings and stay tuned to your local forecasts in case some of these storms become severe. In Europe, radar from Meteo France shows several bands of precipitation moving across Europe at the present time. 48-hour forecasts are calling for the heaviest rainfall to be in northern Spain and southern France. The releases from the methane well in the North Sea will be blowing towards Denmark and Scandinavia. Nuke Report Honeywell International, a uranium production facility, had an unplanned medical treatment of a contaminated worker. He had complained of dizziness and was found to have a high source of contamination on his work shoes. The patient was sent to his primary care physician for treatment. At Perry, Ohio, it was identified that the National Pollutant Discharge System was being exceeded. A non-compliance notification was sent to the Ohio Division of the EPA. And at Fort Calhoun, Nebraska, numerous pieces of equipment associated with the containment was found to be unanalyzed to current specs. Fort Calhoun continues to remain offline after severe flooding which occurred at the plant last summer. Although April showers bring May flowers, some of the flowers that are coming up this year appear to be very strange, especially dandelions. If you see anything unusual growing in your garden, whether it's in the U.S., Canada, or Europe, please email it to us at FukushimaFacts.com. Images will be posted on Mutation Watch Facebook and shared with researchers. And check out Nuked Radio on Orion Tuesdays and Thursdays at noon, where we discuss how to deal with all the nuclear threats that we are facing, especially the ongoing releases in precarious Reactor 4 at Fukushima. Please share this info with those you care for, and together we will find solutions. This message has been brought to you by Radchik and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Stay safe.